Yo guys, Tomato Sauce in here, and tonight we're going to find another Wrath of the Lich King free patch gold farm. So I've heard tales that there are many dungeons in the Hellfire Citadel area uh, that you can solo farm. Um, and tonight we're going to try it out together. Uh, I haven't tried this out yet. I'm going to start with uh, Hellfire Ramparts. I'm going in as a protection warrior. Super standard build, nothing fancy, no, no, you know, revenge UA hybrid build, just a literal PVE focused uh, protection warrior build, right? Um, you can see I've got a little bit more avoidance than last time uh, because I regem some of my gear, but I'm not in any great gear. I'm in brutal gear, you know, with tank gems, Dory's embrace. It's all badge, Kara, or brutal, brutal gear. Um, so, you know. We'll see. I haven't uh, I haven't tried this out yet, um, but here we go. We'll start the timer. At the end of the timer, we'll pause that bad boy, sell the gold, and you know calculate out our, our gold per hour. So let's start here. I'm just gonna try to pull kind of big, and hope that I don't die, because we're one taking this just like just like everything else. Get the thunder clap out. Try to oh, there's a stun. I'm gonna pop retaliation if these guys are gonna stun. Okay, we pulled more. Trying to keep some AoE dam rolling. Use shield slams on cooldown, revenge, and I'm stunned again. Shield slam. Kind of a sketchy pack. We're just gonna pop all our cooldowns, last stand through it. All right. Glad we did that. Oh, okay. We got the boys out here. I didn't even notice these cats. Got everybody nice and grouped up. Minute in. And uh, it has been an exciting pull so far. That's gone. Just start, start looting. I think this place drops rune cloth and nether cloth. Whatever it's called, nether weave cloth. Like the first pack is pretty rune cloth heavy. I'm gonna bandage and drink just to try to have you know quicker drinks. So not a, a paladin. I actually have to heal myself. Uh, you know through all of this. So. Oh. Keep the healing going. Try to scout out the next packs. I should have popped a battle shout or one of the shouts. All right, we're up to two minutes. Blood rage, battle shout. Bring this pack into this next one. I really don't think I want these casters in it. I'm just gonna kill these cats together. Try to keep the cleaves going. Revenges. You can devastate while disarmed, which is pretty nice because dudes disarm. Come and kill this guy. These casters are annoying. We got knockbacks too. There's a lot of nonsense going on in this dungeon. Shield slam him and his drill. Not even gonna heal here. Gonna go into this caster pack. I'm actually gonna pull these two together. I don't think this is a bad pull. Get our spell reflect up. Start cleaving and revenging. So Cleave Revenge and Thunderclap are our best buddies with a little shockwave in between. Knocked us into the dogs. Gonna take this pack out too while we're here. Big shield slams. We're gonna drink after this. We'll start. By bandaging, then we'll sit down and drink. 
after we loot. We're coming up on four minutes in. Now I am uh, kind of not that impressed so far. Seems like a lot more work than it's worth. But let's see what happens when we uh, we get some boss loot into this. Um, you know, I think the biggest downfall as a warrior is just that you really don't have self healing, so you're bandaging and eating. And, you, know, you have this kind of this downtime. I'm using the 7,500 health food. Probably would have been better to get a mage, bro. Get to give me like a couple stacks of mage food before I came in. That would have been the play for sure. Facts, a lot of casters. Gonna kill these guys here. Maybe there's like a, you know, a more optimal way to do this, but, you know, I, uh, I ain't the one. <laughs> All right, we got some nether cloth finally, nether weave. I was trying to charge and I must have had the wrong guy targeted. all of this together shield wall and retaliation gotta love the shield slams and the revenges on prot definitely a good time that feels a lot of fun to play just got bigger oh that's not good all right we last stand and hope commanding shout and a demo out of this pop a health potion let's try to live it get the big stun there Hit him with the fear to take less damn. Kill him. All right, uh, that was almost bad. Put the health pot into the last stand to help this out. We're able to live it and not wipe. That is the most important thing here, right? Uh, <laughs> You definitely don't want to be the guy that wipes while you're farming gold. I think if I had more defensive gear, this would be better. But, you know, we're just going with uh, what we got. So we are about seven minutes in. And in my opinion, at this point, we're kind of out of the weeds right we're out of the hardest parts of the dungeon um should be able to take these packs together charge into one charge into the other pull them back into the last interested to see what we end up getting this to with these long 30 second you know like eating periods we get the double charge. Oh no. These nerds. They're gonna be blasting me from afar. I can recharge. Just do that. Kick that one. That up. These bowls are for real oh my goodness yeah like not having shockwave and all of these defensive talents i feel like would be kind of sketch in here tbh go back to an offensive shout
I, I mean, I'm I'm not sold on this. At least not for a pro warrior. Because look, we're we're back to eating again. Add another 30 seconds to the clock. You figure every 30 seconds, right? They add up. I mean, you might end up adding three minutes, four minutes to the the time that it takes to do this. Where if you just went to like strat UD, I think you're pulling a lot faster. Uh, maybe I'll do a, a recording of strat UD too. Because I've done a few of the Rivendare runs. You make good gold out of there. Uh, and you're really pretty rarely in danger. Um, all right. Let's see what, we're, what we got next. Try to pull these guys up. Another disarming crew. A lot of CC in here. Uh, this, is, this is the kind of stuff you really don't get in strat until you get to like the turbo nerds uh, are those those big spiders that kind of mess with you we pull these guys back just like we would in a normal ramparts run throw a little last stand on there of course for really no reason I guess the instant revenges would be better in here, but trying to do this like a little bit hamstrung. Whatever reason. I think we can keep going. Got 9.4k health. Roll into these guys. Take them into these bros over here. We're gonna shield wall this pack. What is going on? I haven't been in defensive stance for like a minute. All right, these dudes are actually cracking me. Pop a health potion. On them. I am, uh, I am not feeling these ramparts runs. The knockups. What do we got? We got anything? There we go. Yeah. Lesson learned. Go into these pulls with some serious health in case they get a little hairy like that. And you get like disarmed over and over again, chain stunned. There's a couple greens. So that's what we're in here for. Greens and blues. Um Pop this. We'll sit down for another another injury timeout. This injury timeout brought to you by Wrath of the Lich King Classic. And Gold Farms. Which I guess we'll see. Well, we got some... We got more greens than I thought. We're actually going to run out of bag space between the greens and the claw. Have to throw some stuff on the ground. Make some tough decisions here. Disarms. You know what would be nice is a dark moon trinket for any of these farms. That's like a thousand gold though, but like I think probably is really, really nice around these kind of mobs. Right. Well was not too bad. Just gonna keep it moving. More greens. Kill these guys so they're not beating on me for an extended period of time. Uh 
another dream? Oh. I think it was. Oh, here's the tough decisions. Get rid of that roasted quail. What else do we got? Oh, I should have sold these. Ravager flesh. Random signet. Rep I don't need. I think the casters are kind of annoying here. It's like, you want to get rid of them? You want to kill them and like bring them into the boss, but you know, they wouldn't come. So I'm just going to take this into the boss. See how this goes. I'll reflect the next one. Yeah. So these bosses don't do any damage, which I guess that's good because this is where the real loot comes from, right? The bosses, you get some guaranteed good drops. I have a feeling that uh drop is actually not that great. Oh, four gold. All right, not bad. Not bad, not bad. We're nearing 15 minutes. We're over 15 minutes, which means maybe we get out of here and reset, right? With like at 18. Really, for for me, I would only be able to do three of these runs, is what it seems like. Unless I, you know, figured out a, a much more optimized way to uh to pull this stuff and and whatnot. I pull these two guys solo because this one starts the event. I just want to use a bandage before I go in. Yeah, you figure we're reset time. You know, maybe maybe I don't pull as aggressively as I did, and then uh then I don't have as many like times where I'm I'm stuck having to drink. Um, Pity they were all in vain. Right. Hopefully he drops his weapon every single time that myself or somebody else runs this. Correct, bro. Right. This is pretty. The boss is super easy. Crash, not so much, right? Make some space. We're even gonna throw away these because I think this has two. So two plus that. Yeah, only like four gold in here. Okay. Let's stop this. 18 minutes say so walkouts another 30 seconds so we'll do 18 and a half we'll just we'll say it's it's three runs an hour right now i mean i could almost get it to four i think but we're not gonna overestimate we're gonna keep it real all right so we're at 2355 i don't know how much raw gold we looted in there just say like four or five gold and we're all the way up to 2370 after selling whites. So then, boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. We're just selling everything. I don't know, maybe some of that stuff would have sold on the auction house. Who knows? Um, where is my first aid? 
Now what we would do with these rune cloth bandages is craft all heavy rune cloth, rune cloth and then sell these as well. I mean, this actually is not a bad raw gold farm. So even if you did it three times an hour, right? Let's say you were smarter than me. You had your bags emptied. So you didn't have to mess around and like throw shit away. Um, I mean, we're from 55, 2355. So let's just say 2350 to 2407. So that's, that's 57 raw gold. If we had three runs in an hour with empty bags without having to finick, you know, right, with all this nonsense, um, plus whatever we end up making on the rune cloth, how much is it a stack? The two gold a stack there, so we're gonna get a couple more, uh, couple more, couple more gold out of this, and we got some good nether weave cloth too. I only like to keep two stacks on me, so we'll craft those um, and see how much gold we're gonna get out of this too. Crafting could go a little quicker. Yeah, I mean, it might be. Might be looking at like 70 times 3. I got 200 gold an hour raw gold farm. When we're done with it. Let's see what we're at after we sell all these bandages and craft them all. Obviously, you would do this at the end of your three runs with empty bags and all that. You know, you really when you're going into a raw gold farm like this, you you really want to optimize your gameplay. So like you don't want to be doing the stuff I was doing, but you know, I I'm just really testing it out. Um I've never really been into purely raw gold farms. I enjoy like mining where I know the value of of the time I'm putting in. I can get some PVP out of it. But at this stage, uh, you know, where we're at in Wrath uh, or excuse me, in the pre-patch, you know, I, I wouldn't mind going into the pre into uh, Wrath with like another thousand gold. So I think the rest of my classic play play time, uh, because I am making a lot of uh, a lot of beta content right now, because I do have Dragonflight beta access. Uh, but the rest of my classic play time prior to pre-patch uh, being over, uh, is simply going to go to going to go into these gold farms. Um, you know, try to make another couple thousand gold. Um, or you know, a thousand or two gold before uh, we go into wrath. Let's see what we got here in a second. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, so we're gonna sell oh, we're definitely not selling that. Oh yeah, no. So this is two gold, two gold, two gold, a little bit more. Sell one of these. No, I use them. Oh, there's six gold a stack. Jesus. All right. So we cracked 70 gold. So I'm just going to round it down to 70 gold. Um, Cause I don't know exactly where I started. Um, and you figure you get three of those runs an hour. I mean, you're looking at over 200 gold an hour. Uh, if you run it slow, like I ran it slow. So Hellfire Ramparts, definitely a good farm still. Jump into it, baby. <laughs> now, guys, if you have not subscribed to my videos, uh, I know about 90% of you, right, haven't subscribed yet. Please just click that sub button if you got this far uh, through the video. I really appreciate you watching. Um, you know, there's a nice little 200 gold an hour farm. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Tomato sauce and out.